everyone, what is up? My name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the second episode of Kotian Khan titled The Battle at Kalka or The Battle at the Kalka River. There is an achievement that we're going for titled The Cumin Flush. We uh, have to defeat the Taters before or rather without advancing to the Castle Age. Let's go ahead and get started. The sky has turned dark with the smoke of burning tar. Through it, one can see the bodies of men and horses scattered on the battlefield. Despite our large numbers, our armies were swept away from this earth like dust on a field. The Mongols knew perfectly how to exploit our weaknesses and divide our forces. The hooves of the charging Mongol horsemen sounded like thunder, and their arrows poured down on us like rain. Smoking projectiles fired by Mongol catapults caused confusion among our ranks and blocked our line of sight. We saw Rus princes charge into the smoke, never to be seen again. After nine long days, the combined Rus and Cuman armies were completely annihilated. Morale is at an all-time low for those who survived. We Cumans know that all hope is lost for our ancestral homeland. To escape certain death or slavery, we will retreat beyond the Nipa River to rally and ride west. At least Khan Kotian survived the battle, which gives us a tiny bit of light in these dark times. His calm presence and confident voice can still give hope to the men. Well, uh, seems like we're in a little bit of a rough spot here. Our main objectives are for Kachin Khan to survive and to run from the Mongol horde. Our hints tell us that the Cumans are restricted to the Castle Age, well in our case the Feudal Age, and a population of 150. Your people are in danger, you should find them as quickly as possible. You can try to fight the Mongols across the river, but after the recent defeat, you lack the manpower or resources to defeat them. Focus instead on defeating the Tatars and ensuring the safety of your people. The Cumans can build battering rams in the Feudal Age. It may be possible to crush the Tatars with an early rush before they can build up their strength. That's probably what our achievement is going to be going for, the Cuman Flush. Your scouts report that after suffering a defeat at the hands of the Mongols, Khachan Khan in green and some of his men are retreating west in an effort to save what remains of the Cuman tribes in Sion. The Rus principalities in red are located to the north. Their princes are either dead or fleeing north, so little help is to be expected from them. The Mongols in orange have taken all of the land east of the Dnieper River and are preparing to cross it. Their leader Subotai has arrived as well and will oversee the Mongol advance. Expect him to unleash hordes of cavalry archers, Mengadai, light cavalry, and siege engines. The Taters in yellow have managed to sneak across the river during the night and have made camp to the southwest. They plan to encircle the remaining Cuman tribes and attack them from behind. Kachin must prevent this, or there will be no future for his people. The Taters will train the fearsome Keshiks, in addition to cavalry archers and steppe lancers. Oh boy. Uh, but it does look like they start in the Feudal Age, so if we can screw with them before they advance to the Castle Age, that would be pretty good, I think. All right, let's get this started, shall we? Warn the defenders! The Mongols are hot on our tail! Our people are leaving this country second night, but perhaps you can find shelter with your people to the west. Curse you, Kotyan, for dragging us into this! Hey, man. It's not like the Mongols would have shown you guys any mercy These anyway. Our prince may have abandoned us, but we will never leave our homeland. Okay, so we need to locate the Cuban tribes now. Let's go ahead and Good do job. that. Please help us. Um, we have managed to hold the major river crossing, but the Tatars have slipped across the river in the middle of the night and are now threatening to outflank our army. Okay, let's gather all of our units together. And have Kachin go on a field trip here. Yeah, what? I 
Amuk Mehmet, Ağal Haç Kesermen. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bait Katyan, use Katyan as bait, uh, and get all of the Mongol units out. I draw those units over here. I'm going to have them run into teal here. Hopefully he doesn't die. And then I will use these ramps to destroy the TC. Oh, how much HP does he have? Not much. Very low HP, actually. Let's kill that Cav Archer. And this whole time we've got villagers producing. Let's get another Ram out. Okay, and once we've got four rams, I'm going to send them in to destroy this TC, actually. Um, I might actually just send them now. I think I'm just going to send them now. Speed is kind of the essence here. Okay, save enough stone for TC. And after we have successfully done that. How dare you defy our great no, don't shoot Kachin. Your horses, your women, and your goats belong to the horde now. And let's get our cavalry in here too. Okay, so that's one TC down. Lovely. Let's kill these villagers off and start bringing the ramps towards this in this direction. Let's get these bills to build a TC here. I know there's a TC down here somewhere. We need to destroy it before uh, they hit the castle age here. There it is. Let's knock it down. And grab cotton. 
We can have Katsin come back and do some damage. My cavalry are coming for you, Kotian. You better hide like the little mouse that you are. Wow. Let's have Kotian come up here and clean them up. Start developing our economy a little bit more. Nice. Okay, this is good. We can start getting some villagers. Now that the TCs are down, we should have a much easier time. Let's pick up Fletching. Keep training Vils. And we can get our second human TC out at some point too. Gold, fortunate. Let's keep villager production going. And we need more rams too. So we need more gold, we need more wood. Probably should have microed a little bit better at the start. We can train scurves, I suppose. Alright, alright, I get it, you're out. Let's move Cotton back here. I really hope they didn't rebuild their TC or anything. Let's get another ram out. Did they rebuild a TC? No, by the looks of it, no. Let's actually get rams in here. Keep Vil production coming out. Maybe get some scouts. But uh, Cotton Khan himself is going to have to do the majority of the damage here, I think. There's the gap in their defenses. Let's get more rams. I'm pretty sure there's like a castle down here somewhere too. Doesn't look like these guys are smart enough to continue building, rebuilding their TCs, which is good for the future in case I fail this run. Let's bust down this castle. Send rams in this direction. Get subsequent villagers on wood here. And maybe even train up a few scouts. Or straight up just archers. Yeah, let's do archers. And have all our, of our future villagers go on wood here. Okay, I know there's a castle down south, so I'm going to rotate all these ramps to go bust that down. A 
gonna keep killing these villagers. And keep getting these rams down. Let's go, let's go! Man, Kachan is just going on an absolute... Slayer fest here. Let's get these archers in. Ooh, they have gold miners here still. Let's kill them. And get in on this castle here. That's what we need our rams for. We've punched a hole in the defenses. Lovely. Oh man, this looks like a lost cause over here. It's gonna be rough. So I've pretty much gone all in here. Where's Kachan? Okay, Kachan's still back here. Nice, still sniping Vils. I hope we don't have to do all production buildings. That'd be really rough if we had to do every production building. Let's have them go on this siege workshop. But these rams are coming in super handy. In fact, I'm probably gonna send the next ram down here. Nice, that's another castle down. Let's have these rams get on these buildings. Oh! They just deleted a siege workshop? Is, is that game? Oh! Did we win? You can run, but there is no place where you will I just realized also our base is getting completely rolled as well. Nice! <laughs> and we popped the achievement too. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't that hard at all. That was pretty easy actually. Um, all I have to do is uh, use Kachan to bait uh, to bait the starting forces, the starting Tater forces, over to Teal, um, and the Teal forces will help you wipe out the initial Keshiks and cavalry archers that the Tatars have. And um, since they're in the feudal age, actually they cannot reproduce those cavalry archers and their uh, and those uh, Keshiks. And it actually seems like so long as they remain in the in the feudal age, they don't reproduce any units whatsoever. So the key there was to get a few battering rams out really early on, um, bait all of the starting units over to Teal, and while they're fighting Teal, have your battering rams destroy the town centers. I think the first TC that I destroyed was their feudal age TC. Uh, or the Castle HTC, and that probably canceled the upgrade and bought me some time. Uh, and then I sent the Rams directly west to destroy the next TC. Uh, and after they, after both TCs were down, um, the villagers didn't rebuild the TC at all. Uh, and so that means that they were stuck in the feudal age and basically taken completely out of the game. It was just a matter of uh, ramming down their two castles, which don't have murder holes because they're in the feudal age. Um, and Killing off the remainder of the villagers, I guess, with Kachan, because Kachan obviously had to live. I, I even lost all my soldiers there, um, but we still managed to win. And you can see, like, my base at home was going to get destroyed very soon, but uh, we managed to win. Um, I can see why this level would be very, very hard uh, if you try to, like, win by advancing the Castle Age. I honestly think that this is the intended way to beat it. Um, at least... Uh, this is like a, a, a legitimate good way to beat it. I don't think this, I don't view this as cheese. I think this is a very, very legitimate. And I think it's just that on hard difficulty, perhaps they advanced the castle age a little bit earlier. So, um, so you, you don't have time to uh, like kill their starting forces with the aid of Teal um, before they get to the castle age. So you, you have to send your rams right away. And the only way to be able to send those rams in safely is to, um, is to kill off the starting force of yellow and obviously having teal bail you out in that regard is really nice But yeah, that was really fun. Uh, so far these first two levels have been short and sweet um, I got a real kick out of it 
this I believe was rated as like a really really difficult mission by a lot of players. Uh, so I'm I'm glad to to have it. I'm glad to have the guide up there, though I'm sure that there's a lot of other playthroughs uh, out there. But yeah, this was super satisfying, and I'm glad that I played it. When looking into the empty eyes of the men sitting in front of the yurts, it is hard to imagine that these men were once fierce step horsemen, warriors who were feared by European kings and Byzantine emperors alike. Our Khan is devastated by the recent events as well, and has not eaten since the battle. Each time Kotian emerges from his tent, his face appears older and more gaunt. Pressured by the Mongol horde, we have no other choice than to keep moving south. At night, Tatar and Mongol raiding parties ambush human guards who wander too far away from the camp. It would be yet another sleepless night for the men. Yeah, the Mongols are really scary here. <laughs> it didn't look like we had any chance against them. Uh... I don't see how we could beat the Tedders and the Mongols in a timely fashion whatsoever. It just looks like that they're just going to run us over sooner or later. Um, even our ally Teal was just getting absolutely pounded, so... Speed! Oh my gosh! Oh my go- How are we supposed to stand up against this? Pretty crazy stuff here. In the at the end, we only had battering rams and Khan. Um So this is a really great demonstration of the of the cumin ability to build rams in feudal age. So that's that's pretty nice design. This is something that only cumins would be able to do, right? So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, that was supposedly one of the most difficult levels in all of DE for campaigns, and we just did this in. Like, basically, like, 15 minutes, because I spent a good amount of time talking. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just overhyped, or if um, having, like, a little bit of foreknowledge of what was going on helped. Um, I did see that there were two town centers and two castles, so the first the first recording obviously didn't work. Um, but, yeah, it was pretty good. I think if you follow this strategy, uh, and you do the baiting properly, you will win. Um it was a really, really fun level. I had a great time. Decent micromanagement. Uh, I used my starting forces reasonably well. I just had to make sure that I killed any leftover Keshiks and uh, cavalry archers, but particularly the Keshiks, uh, with my forces so that my rams could go in and destroy the town centers. And that was that. Cool. Anyway, my name's been The Clever Fool. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you guys next time.